Drew. I'm a level one certified CrossFit trainer and I coach here at Trans Body Fitness. I am one of the three certified CrossFit trainers here alongside Jared as well as Ahmed Fayed. And we have Alba who's also hoping to get CrossFit certified in the future to make it four. Now CrossFit, that's kind of a word you might have heard before, maybe not. But you're probably wondering, what does that mean? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly what it means. So there's three different parts of CrossFit. The first part, constantly varied. Second part, functional movements. Third part, at high intensity. I'll explain them each individually. So first, we have constantly varied. Now constantly varied, we constantly vary everything. From the workouts, it might be a five minute workout, it might be a 40 minute workout. And we also vary the weights, we might be using no weight, using 50 pounds, 100 pounds, maybe more if you're that strong. And we also constantly vary our movements. There's three different classes of movements that we use. We use Olympic weightlifting, and here you can see some of the equipment that we use, top of the line. We use rogue bars, rogue weights, rogue rings, rogue kettlebells, as well as Reebok kettlebells and Reebok stability balls. With our Olympic weightlifting, we use a number of movements. The most basic one is the deadlift, which is basically picking something off the ground. And then there's the clean. We use the bar, and we pick it off the ground, put it on our shoulders. The press, putting something overhead. And then the snatch is taking something from the ground all the way to overhead in one movement. Along with our weightlifting, we use gymnastic movements. So for gymnastics, we use the rings to do ring muscle ups, where you pull yourself from the rings all the way up. We use jump ropes and handstands, as well as burpees. If you don't know what a burpee is, you'll find out soon, it's very fun. And then we also use uh, conditioning. So that's the third, the third movement we use. Now conditioning can be anything from swimming, biking, running. We do a lot of running here, as well as a lot of biking. Now the second part of CrossFit is functional movements. Now functional movements is a big word that basically means different things you do every single day. So it's not very functional just to lift something with your bicep. But if you need to pick something off the ground, that's what we're here to help you with. Pick something off the ground, put something overhead, um, as well as basically everything stems from your core. Functional movements are used in athletics everywhere, from kicking a ball in football, to throwing a ball, to hitting a ball. Everything generates power from the hips. When you jump, when you're coming out from a, a track stance, everything generates from our hips. So that's functional movements. And then the third part of CrossFit is we operate at high intensity. High intensity means basically you go as quick as you can, but maintaining the best technique that you can. We emphasize technique, we want you to remain healthy and use good form, so it actually should help your ailments rather than make you have injuries. So those are the three parts of CrossFit. You might be saying, I can't do CrossFit. That sounds like something for really fit people. But that's the great part about CrossFit, is anybody can do it. From young children, to people my age in their 20s, to moms, dads, as well as grandpas and grandmas, fat people, skinny people, um, quick people, slow people. So basically, if you can walk, if you can stand up, this is for you. It should help you in everyday life. We do the same workout for everybody, but we use different weights. We scale it to make it easy for you so that you can do it. So again, I'm, I'm Coach Drew, and I coach at Trans Body Fitness. If you want more information, you can go to our website at www.transbodyfitness.com. Thank you. Have a great day.